Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Access. What we are going to look at in this module is an overview of everything that we have covered so far. We're going to look at creating a table, a query, a form and a report. So first of all, let's create a table. So normally you would be on the Home tab. To create a table, click on Create. You've got two options there, Table and Table Design. My recommendation is to go into Table Design where you can fill in the fields or the columns for your table and the data type and the description. And at the bottom there, you can set your properties. So very quickly, I'll do um, Staff ID and that will be a number and then we'll have first name surname department date joined and that'll do for now and then we can set some of these data types so date joined would be a date time and then the format for that one can be short date and the input mass for it can be it's going to ask me to save the table so I'll call it TBL staff details no primary key I'm going to say no for that at the moment and here's the input mask I would like a short date and finish and that will put the code in there for me back to the top let's set the staff ID field to a primary key so that's a primary key first name surname department so department we could set a default value as sales to most people in the sales department and we could set validation rules and validation text if it was required, but not for this field. Next one down, date joined. Validation rule could be greater than today. In fact, I'll put it greater than now. Greater than now. And then the text, you must enter a date in the future. And then I can put some description in this area if required, but for now I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to save this table and have a look at the columns ready to go. I've got this manually doing the um, ID field I could have set that to an auto number field and then save have a look so if I just put my details in there if I can type it right Steve Saxton I'm in the sales department I joined I'll put today's date and see what happens. Okay, it's not letting me do that. So I'll put the 25th and then I should, suppose I should go down there and say, let's try doing that minus one, see if that helps me. Now let's see if I can join on the 24th. Yes, I can. Okay, so that's how you create a table. And I'm going to close that table down. Now let's have a look at creating a query. Query, again, query design or query wizard for this little example. This is an overview example. Query design. And because I've got no data or not much data in this table, I'm going to use address details. So double click on address details, close this box, expand this list so you can see the fields. Double click at the top drag and drop and then use the criteria on the all rows to interrogate the data so I want everything from Bradford run the query 
uh, there are the records for Bradford. Save that query. So it's a QRY query looking at the TBL address details. That's my own naming convention, slightly different ones around. And then I close that and go back to the data table, move somebody into Bradford. And then when I run the query, that one, and it's added on there. So I didn't put Bradford at the end of it because it's already there from previous sessions. But that's how you would normally name that query. So there's a query. And now to build a report on that query, I go create report. Again, you've got report, report design. And so on, so I'm just going to go for this one, report, and then it gives me quite a um, poorly formatted report which I can start to manually fix myself. As I said in previous sessions, we will look at how to sort this out properly in a future session so you don't have to do any of this sort of editing, but that will do for now. I'll close this report down and save it. Yes. Just put the words on RPT in front of that. Click OK. There's my report. Just have a look at that. So there are seven records there. Seven people living in Bradford. If I go back to the table and put somebody else there. Go back to my report. There are now eight records for Bradford. So the report is looking at the query, which is interrogating the table. So as the data changes in the table, this is your output. The report picks it up. Now the one thing we've missed so far is forms. Forms that we've covered so far are data entry forms. So I'm on the table I want to use. I select create form and click on form. And again, it will create a form in layout view, which you can edit. But there you go, new record. Um, let's do uh, before I do that I need to change the view form view and then fill it in Ooh, title I'll just do this a little bit Close this, save this. Okay, it doesn't like the, um, I'll put FRM in front of that. And then number two, because I've already got one. Now it doesn't like this, this is a duplicate, so I need to change that, so it's not gonna this. Okay, so if I go back into that, and do that again. So if I go to the last record, 14, there's already a 12, that's the benefit of a primary key. So if I do a new record, it should be 15. And then I can fill this in, Mr. Steve Saxton. Close it down. And then when I open the table, there's a record at the bottom there. So to recap this, you create your tables. You build queries to interrogate the data. You create forms to input data and you run reports for output, management output information. You can print report, uh, forms if you want, and you can print queries and you can print tables. But the benefit of access is the report outputs and the layout you can do in reports. That's how it should work. If you're printing tables, it's like Excel, same with queries. You're losing the benefit of or the power of Microsoft Access. So that's it for this overview session. In the next sessions, we're gonna look at using Access as a fully relational database, multiple queries across tables, and great reports. Hopefully I can catch you there. For now, thanks for your time.